everyone. How you doing tonight? I got my elf haul in that when they had their 600,000 uh, likes on Facebook, um, they had a 50% off site-wide sale. And uh, I went to town. Now, I wasn't going to post this, but you all said you wanted to see it. So there you go. Um, i got my big box right here. I've got it all, um, you know, sanctioned out a little bit so that I can try to show it a little bit faster because I want to give you guys swatches because a lot of the stuff I got here is new and it's beautiful. So, let's get started. First of all, I got three of the um, brightening concealer. And it's not, yeah, it just says HD lifting concealer on it and then it's in the color bright. And I have taken one of these out and used it, and I really like it. I did not use it under my eyes because I, I, I don't, I don't, I try not to use anything like that under my eyes. It's just too, my eyes are just, nah, no. <laughs> this reminds me of NYX Yellow Concealer, which um, y'all know I like a lot. But I have to say, this is a little bit more emollient, so I'm, I'm excited about that. So I got three of those. And it comes in, you know, their packaging is really, they're up in the game on their packaging. I'm loving it. And then I got one more, um, and I think this is the last one, and then I'll have them all. And this is the Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. And this is that jelly-like eyeshadow that, or not gel, um, uh, mousse. It's kind of like a mousse. And this one is in Festivity. And these are gorgeous. I really like these. That's the color in the pot. And it's all it's creamy. It's it's kind of mo it's moist and jelly. <laughs> and that's the color on my hand. Look at that. Now give that just a couple minutes and it'll set up. I feel like they got that 50% off on all the studio stuff right now and I want to go back in and get more of them because they're so nice pigmented I mean super duper color payoff really excited about them so yeah got one of those and then I got two of the elf uh, the studio elf of course it's elf of the studio pigment eyeshadows and I got one in mystic um, mystic moss <laughs> and passionate purple and it is what I have on my eyes today or not it is rather they are um, you know I posted on Instagram this morning about making the video for uh, the new idea that I came up with. Um, things that we wish were still available, you know, like Bring It Back, my Bring It Back video. I searched and searched on YouTube to see if anybody had done that. And the only things that I came up with, with the tag, you know, with the lines Bring It Back, Products Bring Back, that stuff, is a bunch of booty dancing with a song from somebody called Bring It Back. <laughs> So, if you happen to go on my Google and you see all of those um, videos that I watched, well, there was only a couple of them, that's what I was doing, was searching to see if anybody had made the a Bring It Back video, and I had did not find one. So, if any of you know any of any out there, let me know, but I'm still um, plan on filming that. When I went to film it this morning... First I got called away and I had to go and then um, while I was gone I stopped over at a salon to see my friend Dorothy and <laughs> there was a gal there she's like Julie can you do my makeup and I'm like I'm like Ness I don't even have my train case with me or nothing she and Dorothy's like oh you can use mine and so I ended up yeah I ended up not filming that and that you know I don't know about any of you all out there that make videos but when I make a video I try to do my research and know exactly what I'm talking about you know like if I've got um, timelines or any, like anything like that to reference and in the bring it back video I have to print out pictures of a lot of things that I wish I s could still get because I don't have them and I don't have any you know a reference point to show you guys and so I have to print those pictures out and when I got home I had trouble with my printer and it was just one thing after another so I came in here tonight I'm like I'm gonna go film my elf video because <laughs> I love filming these videos I do and I am so excited about well I'll tell you that in a minute and see how long this video is I got two of the pigment colors okay fashion and purple and mystic olive oh these are so gorgeous you guys I want all of them okay you can't really see it in the cap actually you kinda can 
Can you see that color in the cap? Oh, oh it's beautiful. It's very much of it. Oh, man, they're just gorgeous. Now, oh, oh, I'm just in love with these colors. And, of course, you can see... You can see it on my eyes. Oh, it's just beautiful. I couldn't be happier with these, I'm telling you. you got to get you some of these. And I've already... They got a 50% sale on the studio only going on uh, right now. And I got... Um, a whole bunch more coming. They know I'm going to do another haul video. Okay, and then this one is the Mystic Mauve. I mean the Mystic Olive. No, no, no. Good grief. Moss. Mystic Moss. Okay. And this is that color on the hand. Wait a minute. I didn't get enough out of my cap here. The the delivery method in these is the only thing I don't like. But it, it's a pigment. You're going to have that. And then that is the green. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that purple? Okay, so I got those. And I got... Oh, let me wipe my hand off real quick. And then I got two polishes. Um, why, I don't know, because I've got these both. Not this, not Elf, but these colors. And I got one in... Um, blah, 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 blah. Fire Coral. And that's this one right here. Pretty. And then I got this one in Dragon Fruit. And that is this one. And it's just a... <laughs> I know this is going to be crazy because I've got like 10 bottles of Fix Plus down there. But I just had to do it. And for 3 bucks, it can't be beat. I, and I had never tried these, so I figured, you know, at the very least, if I don't like them, I can give them to my kids for three bucks. And I got, um, five, <laughs> five of their Mineral Mist. Comes in a box like this. And you guys, look at this beautiful packaging. And that is, it's aluminum. That, oh, good job, Elf. And this stuff it it act it, it it is the same as Fix Plus. It just doesn't have that pleasant smell. Um, it, you know, as far as what it's doing to my face when I put it on, how it feels, um, how it sets my makeup, everything is the same as the Fix Plus. And I tried it with without makeup, with makeup, um, put a heavy layer of powder on my face and sprayed it to see how it would react with with the Fix Plus and with this, and there was absolutely no difference. So, you can go get your Fix Plus, which I love my Fix Plus. You know, you're going to get quite a bit more in the bottle, but that costs $21, and this costs 3 Well, I think it's 6 normally, but, you know, they're always having them 50% off sales. So, um, yeah, I even like this bottle better than the MAC bottle. <laughs> Sorry, MAC. And I'll still buy my Fix Plus because I'm addicted to it. I swear I am. I think I really actually have an addiction to that stuff. I get like a oh, a calm, soothing comes over me when I smell it. You know, when I spray it and I get that smell, that waft in my nose. It's like, oh, yeah. Anyways, how classy is that? Good job, Elf. Good job. You're up in your game. Okay. And then I got two of the studio eyeshadows, the um, single eyeshadows. And I got, I don't know how I did this. <laughs> I must have just been like, oh yeah, I want that, want that, want that, want that. But this eyeshadow I got here is in Mystic Moss as well. <laughs> so it's the same as the pigment. I don't know. Maybe I was thinking, I don't carry pigments in my in my case. At least I try not to. Sometimes I have to, but I try not to carry pigments. And you all know what I'm talking about. You know, nobody wants to carry pigments in your case. But... Uh, maybe that's what I was thinking when I got this. Because I've got almost all the other ones. And that is that color. Right now. Which is the Mystic Moss that I just showed you. The pigment. Um, I just did my finger on that instead of the brush. The other one I got is called Sunset. And man, these were sold out. They were. I didn't have, There was not much left for the pickings when, when I went in and ordered these ones. And that is that color. A really pretty peachy color. Actually, no, it ain't peach. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a peach, um I don't know, a peach bronze maybe. And that's that color right there. 
really, really pretty. It will look beautiful with this color right here. Both of these together will look gorgeous together. I think I might wear those tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Okay, and then I got uh, four of the pressed mineral blushes. And then let's get these out of here real quick so I can show you them. Um, I ordered, I know, I ordered one of each. And I got three, I got three different kinds and two of jet setters. So one of you guys is going to be getting one of these jet setters in a giveaway box somewhere down the road. Because, you know, blushes last forever. And I don't need two of them, so... And with my space issue in this room, and I got some exciting news, it ain't exciting to you guys, but it's really exciting to me. And when it comes to fruition tomorrow, I'm going to have even less room in here. So, <laughs> Okay, so this one is Cabo Cabana. Look at these beautiful containers. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love them. I'm, I'm really stoked with how Elf is, um, you know, doing their packaging lately. That's Cabo Cabana. Not lately. The studio stuff has always had pretty nice packaging. And that's beautiful, beautiful color on my hand. And that's just a really pretty, um, kind of a russety pink. Okay. And then I got the Sweet Retreat. The pink. Kind of a, um, it's a warm toned pink, but it's got like a real warm, um, light brownish to it or something. I can't, it's hard to explain, but... Oh, is that coming off on my hand? Yeah, there you go. I think you can kind of see it on there. I'm so dark-skinned, it's hard to see it on there. Beautiful. And these blushes are all matte. Oh, I just love them. Actually, let me look. Yeah, these blushes are all matte. I love them. Love, love, love these. Why would you go out and buy... Well, never mind. I am better shut up because I got them too. <laughs> and then I got two of these jet setters. So one of you is going to get this one. This one hasn't been opened and it won't be. Um, I'll put it back in the package actually. I don't know why I took it out. But um, here's jet setter. And it's the um, not the deepest one. There's one that's deeper than this called Wanderlust. And I thought I ordered a jet setter and a Wanderlust. But apparently I got two jet setters. So... But that's okay, because I made another order. <laughs> and that's that one. Isn't that pretty? And I do have this one on today. Get them right there on my cheeks. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So that's my blushies. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, seven eyeshadow pots. <laughs> So let's get to these really quick. I'm just going to rip the packages open. And, you know, I had never ordered any of the e.l.f. eyeshadow pots before. This is my first time. I hadn't even bought them down at Target because every time that they have them down there, it seems like, you know, some buttholes come along and mess with them and mash them all up and see if they can break them or something. And they do. And the ones that are hanging down at Target are almost always broke. So I've never gotten any of these before. But this one is called Driftwood. And it's a mo uh, taupe color. Really pretty taupe color. Okay. Ooh, they feel good, you guys. Oh, yeah, baby. Very happy with that. Ooh, now I wish I would have got more. Well, I always can get more anyway. So, that's the taupe. Very creamy. I got a periwinkle. Let me rip this sucker open. Uh, speaking of sucker, I don't know what it was. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You see how that's broken out in the side? That's how the ones down at Target always are. Dang it. Well, anyways, this one's called Periwinkle. Ooh, they're a little bit flaky, but nothing that is going to bother me. And that's that one. Um, pretty periwinkle color. I think we all know what periwinkle is. It's kind of hard to explain it. It's a, a kind of a gray lavender color. So that's periwinkle. And then I got aubergine. Yeah, baby. Aubergine, aubergine. People say it different. I say aubergine. So that's what it is. And I love this color. Basically, it's eggplant. It's what it is. 
Oh, look at it. Yummo. Oh, look at that color. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to wear this tomorrow. Oh, beautimus. Beautimus. Man, I I got to tell you, I've been real happy with Elf lately. And then I got Peach Fizz. Real happy with them. Mm. Anyways, that's Peach Fizz. Did I say that? Yeah, Peach Fizz. These are so smooth. A little bit, a little bit, um, you know, flaky, but not anything that bothers me. And that's that. Peach Fizz. And I'll list this all down below if you guys want. Um, it's an awful lot of stuff <laughs> to list, but I will. Sage. This one's called Sage. These were pretty picked over, too, by the time I got to the site and made my order. Um, I probably would have got one of each, except for black. I got so much black, it's not even funny. And that one's Sage. Okay. And that is the color. It Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that. Now, these are all um, very little frost. Very little frost. You could certainly use these, or I would anyways. I would use these for a transition color, no problem. Okay, anyways, this is Wisteria. It is 1.30 in the morning here, folks. <laughs> so if I seem kind of dingy, and uh, that's why. Okay, this is Wisteria, and... See, this one's been handled a bunch and the little eyeballs gone on it, but that's okay. It ain't broke, so. Some of these are creamier than others, too. Oh, man. Look at that pretty color, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful lilac. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, now I'm going to... Ooh, those would look good together. The wisteria and the sage. Oh, how pretty would those be? I'm going to find out tomorrow, that's how. <laughs> Okie dokie. And then one more, and it is truly pink. And when I clicked on this and, and hit, uh, truly, you know, and hit purchase, the little thing came up and said, sorry, out of stock. So I didn't think I was going to get this one. So I must have got the last one that they had in stock. I don't know. And that is uh, that one right there. And that is beautiful is what it is. Look at that. Right next to the lavender. Oh my goodness. Right there. Isn't that purtiful? I'm really excited about these. I am. I am. Okay. And then I got a moisture stick. Um, I... Again, you could go over to Emily's page and, and see a pretty thorough review she has, but I've been getting these for some time. I love them. Absolutely love them. It's a clear stick, and I'm telling you, you get a good amount of product. It's the container full. It's not deceiving at all. I mean, you get you get all that product, and it looks like a glue stick, don't it? <laughs> the first time my husband saw me using this, he's like, are you putting glue stick on your face? I'm like, yeah, honey, that's that's what it is. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't rub this on my face. I just take my finger across the top of it and dab it under my eye. Just like this, dab it under my eyes. And it's pretty much the only place that I use it. It's a beautiful product, and it feels nice and cool when you, when you, I, I don't know what it is, but it feels nice and cool. The, wonderful, wonderful little product. Y'all, all y'all need one of the e.l.f. Daily Moisture Sticks. And they make foundations in this same concept now. Um, I didn't grab one because it would have just been a waste for me personally, but... And then I got one of the lip balm tints. Now, I have opened this. I put it back in the package for the sake of this video. Um, Emily, again, Emily said that she really, really liked these. Now, I do like it. I will say, I do like it. I have used it. Uh, for anybody that is concerned with flavor, the, it's got a really pretty uh, tint to it. It's a beautiful... Mm, 
Yeah, it's got a beautiful tint to it. Uh, a better tint, th tint than any other, you know, pot that I can remember having in recent years. It's just really beautiful product. However, and this isn't a bad thing. Um, this one is in grapefruit, by the way. It tastes just like, and I mean just like, their lip exfoliator, you know, that comes in the lipstick form. Um, you roll it up, it's got that brown thing with the um, sand in it or walnut shells, I think is what it is. It tastes exactly like that. Glitter primer. Just your basic glitter primer. Um, haven't tried one of these yet either. This is, I, I believe this is, yeah, it's a new product. Um, I'm curious to see how this stacks up to uh, Too Faced, though. Um, but I don't really, I don't have Too Faced, and I don't really wear the glitter like that. Um, I got this mostly for down at the shop. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's just a cream. It's just like Too Faced, actually. So I'm, I'm curious. I might have to get me a bottle of Too Faced just to see, because I go through a lot of glitter down at my shop. I got, you know, a lot of younger girls, and they love their glitter. So, and then I got two of the primer eyeshadows, and I gotta say, I'm really liking these. I am used, I used this one today, and they pat out to clear, I mean, not clear, but um, it's not opaque on your eye. Now, it has a little doe foot wand on it, and it looks just like a cream eyeshadow. You can see that? But then you, you go to, you know, obviously you wouldn't leave it like that on your eye. And you go to smear it out, and that's what it looks like. And then that's the base that you put your makeup on top of. And it, it's beautiful. It, yeah. And I got one in Misty Mauve and another in Sultry Satin. What? Satin. Sultry Satin. See? <laughs> Ball mist. Okay, sorry to do this to you folks, but I do wear glasses sometimes to see the little things. So yeah, this is Sultry Satin, and this is just a, a warm vanilla, you know, nice warm vanilla color. That's right there. Hokey dokey, and then I got a brush powder brush I gotta tell ya this is a pretty brush now I love it I love this brush I think that this is one of the more elegant pretty brushes that I have seen in a long time I just love the you know the the glossy black ferrule with the matte black um, trunk I, I handle. Back when I was in school, they called them trunks, so whatever. On to the next item. Um, three of the crease brushes. I already have more than these than I'll probably ever use, but I got them for my giveaway box, so that's where they're going. And then I got two of the sponge tip applicators. Um, and I've never had I've never had a sponge tip applicator, period. <laughs> never. Not in my 20 plus years of being an MUA have I ever owned a sponge tip applicator. <laughs> True story. And that's just a little itty bitty sponge tip applicator. Um, I don't know if I would even use that on myself. I'd probably just drag my eye around. I can I can almost hear it in my head like an eraser, you know, <laughs> on my poor old creepy eyes. But yeah, um, got two of those. So that is all, folks. That is the shebang. And I'm going to let you go because I know this video is already probably 35,000 minutes long. And I'm going to have to edit for 15 hours before I post it. That's it. I love you all. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this is about 35 minutes as of now. I'm going to try to edit it down to, I think I'm probably going to, at the very best, make this maybe a 20-25 minute video. I'm sorry it was long. It looked like I had a lot of more stuff than it looks like on my desk, but it was long enough to make a long ass video. But then I babble a lot too, because i got no feeling and nobody who cares around here. I love you guys. Have a good night. Bye. I hope your weekend's good.